Alexandria or Egyptian Arabic Askandri Eskandria Arabic Alaskandrite Al Iskandria Coptic Alexandria or Rakot is the second largest city in Egypt and a major economic center extending about 32 kilometers 20 miles along the coast of the Mediterranean Sea in the north central part of the country Its low elevation on the Nile Delta makes it highly vulnerable to rising sea levels Alexandria is an important industrial center because of its natural gas and oil pipelines from Suez Alexandria is also a popular tourist destination. Alexandria was founded around a small, ancient Egyptian town c. 332 BC by Alexander the Great, king of Macedon and leader of the Greek League of Corinth, during his conquest of the Achaemenid Empire. Alexandria became an important center of Hellenistic civilization and remained the capital of Ptolemaic Egypt and Roman and Byzantine Egypt for almost 1,000 years, until the Muslim conquest of Egypt in AD 641, when a new capital was founded at Fustat later absorbed into Cairo. Hellenistic Alexandria was best known for the Lighthouse of Alexandria Pharos, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, its great library the largest in the ancient world, now replaced by a modern one, and the Necropolis, one of the seven wonders of the Middle Ages. Alexandria was at one time the second most powerful city of the ancient Mediterranean region, after Rome. Ongoing maritime archaeology in the harbour of Alexandria, which began in 1994, is revealing details of Alexandria both before the arrival of Alexander, when a city named Rakotis existed there, and during the Ptolemaic dynasty. From the late 18th century, Alexandria became a major center of the international shipping industry and one of the most important trading centers in the world, both because it profited from the easy overland connection between the Mediterranean Sea and the Red Sea, and the lucrative trade in Egyptian cotton. History Ancient era. Alexandria is believed to have been founded by Alexander the Great in April 331 BC as Alexandria, Alexandria. Alexander's chief architect for the project was Dinocrates. Alexandria was intended to supersede Nocrates as a Hellenistic center in Egypt, and to be the link between Greece and the rich Nile Valley. Although it has long been believed only a small village there, recent radiocarbon dating of seashell fragments and lead contamination show significant human activity at the location for two millennia preceding Alexandria's founding. Alexandria was the intellectual and cultural center of the ancient world for some time. The city and its museum attracted many of the greatest scholars, including Greeks, Jews, and Syrians. The city was later plundered and lost its significance. In the early Christian Church, the city was the center of the Patriarchate of Alexandria, which was one of the major centers of early Christianity in the Eastern Roman Empire. In the modern world, the Coptic Orthodox Church and the Greek Orthodox Church of Alexandria both lay claim to this ancient heritage. Just east of Alexandria, where Abu Qiyar Bay is now, there was in ancient times marshland and several islands. As early as the 7th century BC, there existed important port cities of Canopus and Heracleion. The latter was recently rediscovered underwater. An Egyptian city, Rakotis, already existed on the shore and later gave its name to Alexandria in the Egyptian language Egyptian asterisk Rakatit, written Arkati, t, that which is built up. It continued to exist as the Egyptian quarter of the city. A few months after the foundation, Alexander left Egypt and never returned to his city. After Alexander's departure, his viceroy, Cleomenes, continued the expansion. Following a struggle with the other successors of Alexander, his general Ptolemy Lagades succeeded in bringing Alexander's body to Alexandria, though it was eventually lost after being separated from its burial site there. Although Cleomenes was mainly in charge of overseeing Alexandria's continuous development, the Heptastadion and the mainland quarters seem to have been primarily Ptolemaic work. Inheriting the trade of ruined Tyre and becoming the center of the new commerce between Europe and the Arabian and Indian East, the city grew in less than a generation to be larger than Carthage. In a century, Alexandria had become the largest city in the world and, for some centuries more, was second only to Rome. It became Egypt's main Greek city, with Greek people from diverse backgrounds. Alexandria was not only a center of Hellenism, but was also home to the largest urban Jewish community in the world. The Septuagint, a Greek version of the Tanakh, was produced there. The early Ptolemies kept it in order and fostered the development of its museum into the leading Hellenistic center of learning library of Alexandria, but were careful to maintain the distinction of its population's three largest ethnicities, Greek, Jewish, and Egyptian. 
By the time of Augustus, the city walls encompassed an area of 5.34 square kilometers, and the total population in Roman times was around 500 600,000. According to Philo of Alexandria, in the year 38 of the Common Era, disturbances erupted between Jews and Greek citizens of Alexandria during a visit paid by the Jewish king Agrippa I to Alexandria, principally over the respect paid by the Jewish nation to the Roman emperor, and which quickly escalated to open affronts and violence between the two ethnic groups and the desecration of Alexandrian synagogues. The violence was quelled after Caligula intervened and had the Roman governor, Flaccus, removed from the city. In AD 115, large parts of Alexandria were destroyed during the Quito's War, which gave Hadrian and his architect, Decrianus, an opportunity to rebuild it. In 215, the Emperor Caracalla visited the city and, because of some insulting satires that the inhabitants had directed at him, abruptly commanded his troops to put to death all youths capable of bearing arms. On 21 July 365, Alexandria was devastated by a tsunami 365 Crete earthquake, an event annually commemorated years later as a «day of horror». <laughs> Muhammad's era The Islamic prophet Muhammad's first interaction with the people of Egypt occurred in 628, during the expedition of Zayed ibn Haritha Hizma. He sent Hatib bin Abi Baltaya with a letter to the king of Egypt in reality Emperor Heraclius and Alexandria called Mukakis. In the letter Muhammad said, "'I invite you to accept Islam, Allah the Sublime, shall reward you doubly. But if you refuse to do so, you will bear the burden of the transgression of all the Copts.'" During this expedition one of Muhammad's envoys Dihaya bin Khalifa Kalbi was attacked, Muhammad sent Zayd ibn Haritha to help him. Dihaya approached the Banu Dabab, a tribe which converted to Islam and had good relations with Muslims, for help. When the news reached Muhammad, he immediately dispatched Zayd ibn Haritha with 500 men to battle. The Muslim army fought with Banu Judam, killed several of them, inflicting heavy casualties, including their chief, Al Hunayd ibn Arid and his son, and captured 1,000 camels, 5,000 of their cattle, and 100 women and boys. The new chief of the Banu Judam who had embraced Islam appealed to Muhammad to release his fellow tribesmen, and Muhammad released them. Islamic era In 619, Alexandria fell to the Sassanid Persians. Although the Byzantine Emperor Heraclius recovered it in 629, in 641 the Arabs under the general Amr ibn al as captured it during the Muslim conquest of Egypt, after a siege that lasted 14 months. After the Battle of Ridania in 1517, the city was conquered by the Ottoman Turks and remained under Ottoman rule until 1798. Alexandria lost much of its former importance to the Egyptian port city of Rosetta during the 9th to 18th centuries, and only regained its former prominence with the construction of the Mahmudiya Canal in 1807. Alexandria figured prominently in the military operations of Napoleon's expedition to Egypt in 1798. French troops stormed the city on 2 July 1798, and it remained in their hands until the arrival of a British expedition in 1801. The British won a considerable victory over the French at the Battle of Alexandria on 21 March 1801, following which they besieged the city, which fell to them on 2 September 1801. Muhammad Ali, the Ottoman governor of Egypt, began rebuilding and redevelopment around 1810, and by 1850, Alexandria had returned to something akin to its former glory. Egypt turned to Europe in their effort to modernize the country. Greeks, followed by other Europeans and others, began moving to the city. In the early 20th century, the city became a home for novelists and poets. In July 1882, the city came under bombardment from British naval forces and was occupied. In July 1954, the city was a target of an Israeli bombing campaign that later became known as the Lavin Affair. On 26 October 1954, Alexandria's Manzhaya Square was the site of a failed assassination attempt on Gamal Abdel Nasser. Europeans began leaving Alexandria following the 1956 Suez Crisis that led to an outburst of Arab nationalism. The nationalization of property by NASA, which reached its highest point in 1961, drove out nearly all the rest. Topic: <inaudible> Ibn Battuta in Alexandria. In reference to Alexandria, Egypt, Ibn Battuta speaks of great saints that resided here. One of them being Imam Boran Odin el-Arij. He was said to have the power of working miracles. 
He told Ibn Battuta that he should go find his three brothers, Ferid Odin, who lived in India, Rokan Odin ibn Zakaria, who lived in Sindia, and Boran Odin, who lived in China. Batuta then made it his purpose to find these people and give them his compliments. Sheikh Yakut was another great man. He was the disciple of Sheikh Abu Abbas el Mursi, who was the disciple of Abu el Hassan el Shadali, who is known to be a servant of God. Abu Abbas was the author of the Hesp el Bar and was famous for piety and miracles. Abu Abd Allah el Murshidi was a great interpreting saint that lived secluded in the minyad of Ibn Murshd. He lived alone but was visited daily by emirs, viziers, and crowds that wished to eat with him. The Sultan of Egypt el Malik el -Nazir, visited him, as well. Ibn Battuta left Alexandria with the intent of visiting him. Topic. Timeline The most important battles and sieges of Alexandria include Siege of Alexandria 47 BC, Julius Caesar's Civil War Battle of Alexandria 30 BC, Final War of the Roman Republic Siege of Alexandria 619, Byzantine-Persian Wars Siege of Alexandria 641, Rashidun conquest of Byzantine Egypt Alexandrian Crusade 1365, a crusade led by Peter de Lusignan of Cyprus which resulted in the defeat of the Mamluks and the sack of the city. Battle of Alexandria 1801, Napoleonic Wars Siege of Alexandria 1801, Napoleonic Wars Alexandria Expedition 1807, Napoleonic Wars Topic. Layout of the ancient city Greek Alexandria was divided into three regions Bruchium The royal or Greek quarter, forming the most magnificent portion of the city. In Roman times Bruchium was enlarged by the addition of an official quarter, making four regions in all. The city was laid out as a grid of parallel streets, each of which had an attendant subterranean canal. The Jewish quarter Forming the northeast portion of the city Rakotis the old city of Rakotis that had been absorbed into Alexandria was occupied chiefly by Egyptians, from Coptic racket, Alexandria. Two main streets, lined with colonnades and said to have been each about 60 metres 200 feet wide, intersected in the centre of the city, close to the point where the Sema, or Soma, of Alexander, his mausoleum, rose. This point is very near the present mosque of Nebi Daniel, and the line of the Great East-West, Canopic, street, only slightly diverged from that of the modern Boulevard de Rosette, now Sharia Fuad. Traces of its pavement and canal have been found near the Rosetta Gate, but remnants of streets and canals were exposed in 1899 by German excavators outside the east fortifications, which lie well within the area of the ancient city. Alexandria consisted originally of little more than the island of Pharos, which was joined to the mainland by a 1,260-metre-long mole and called the Heptastadion seven stadia. A stadium was a Greek unit of length measuring approximately 180 metres or 590 feet. The end of this abutted on the land at the head of the present Grand Square, where the Moon Gate rose. All that now lies between that point and the modern Ras al Tin quarter is built on the silt which gradually widened and obliterated this mole. The Ras al Tin quarter represents all that is left of the island of Pharos, the site of the actual lighthouse having been weathered away by the sea. On the east of the mole was the Great Harbour, now an open bay, on the west lay the port of Eunostos, with its inner basin Kibotos, now vastly enlarged to form the modern harbour. In Strabo's time, latter half of the 1st century BC, the principal buildings were as follows, enumerated as they were to be seen from a ship entering the Great Harbour. The royal palaces, filling the northeast angle of the town and occupying the promontory of Lochius, which shut in the Great Harbour on the east. Lochius the modern Pharion, has almost entirely disappeared into the sea, together with the palaces, the private port, and the island of Antaridus. There has been a land subsidence here, as throughout the northeast coast of Africa. The Great Theatre, on the modern hospital hill near the Ramla station. This was used by Julius Caesar as a fortress, where he withstood a siege from the city mob after he took Egypt after the Battle of Pharsalus. The Poseidon, or Temple of the Sea God, close to the theatre, the Timonium built by Mark Antony. The Emporium Exchange. The Apostases Magazines. The Navalia Docks, lying west of the Timonium, along the seafront as far as the Mole. Behind the Emporium rose the Great Caesarium, by which stood the two great obelisks, which become known as Cleopatra's Needles, 
and were transported to New York City and London. This temple became, in time, the Patriarchal Church, though some ancient remains of the temple have been discovered. The actual caesarium, the parts not eroded by the waves, lies under the houses lining the new seawall. The gymnasium and the palestra are both inland, near the Boulevard de Rosette in the eastern half of the town, sites unknown. The Temple of Saturn, Alexandria West. The Mausolea of Alexander Soma and the Ptolemies in one ring fence, near the point of intersection of the two main streets. The Museum with its famous library and theatre in the same region, site unknown. The Serapium of Alexandria, the most famous of all Alexandrian temples. Strabo tells us that this stood in the west of the city, and recent discoveries go far as to place it near Pompey's Pillar, which was an independent monument erected to commemorate Diocletian's siege of the city. The names of a few other public buildings on the mainland are known, but there is little information as to their actual position. None, however, are as famous as the building that stood on the eastern point of Pharos Island. There, the Great Lighthouse, one of the seven wonders of the world, reputed to be 138 meters (453 feet) high, was situated. The first Ptolemy began the project, and the second Ptolemy, Ptolemy II Philadelphus, completed it at a total cost of 800 talents. It took 12 years to complete and served as a prototype for all later lighthouses in the world. The light was produced by a furnace at the top, and the tower was built mostly with solid blocks of limestone. The Pharos Lighthouse was destroyed by an earthquake in the 14th century, making it the second longest surviving ancient wonder, after the Great Pyramid of Giza. A temple of Hephaestus also stood on Pharos at the head of the mole. In the 1st century, the population of Alexandria contained over 180,000 adult male citizens, according to a census dated from 32 CE, in addition to a large number of freedmen, women, children and slaves. Estimates of the total population range from 216,000 to 500,000 making it one of the largest cities ever built before the Industrial Revolution and the largest pre-industrial city that was not an imperial capital. Geography Alexandria is located in the country of Egypt, on the southern coast of the Mediterranean. Topic. Climate Alexandria has a borderline hot desert climate Köppen climate classification, BWH, approaching a hot semi-arid climate BSH. As the rest of Egypt's northern coast, the prevailing north wind, blowing across the Mediterranean, gives the city a less severe climate from the desert hinterland. Rafa and Alexandria are the wettest places in Egypt, the other wettest places are Rosetta, Baltim, Kafr el Dorwa, and Mersa Matru. The city's climate is influenced by the Mediterranean Sea, moderating its temperatures, causing variable rainy winters and moderately hot summers that, at times, can be very humid. January and February are the coolest months, with daily maximum temperatures typically ranging from 12 to 18 degrees Celsius 54 to 64 degrees Fahrenheit and minimum temperatures that could reach 5 degrees Celsius 41 degrees Fahrenheit. Alexandria experiences violent storms, rain and sometimes snow, sleet and hail during the cooler months. These events, combined with a poor drainage system, have been responsible for occasional flooding in the city. July and August are the hottest and driest months of the year, with an average daily maximum temperature of 30 degrees Celsius 86 degrees Fahrenheit. The average annual rainfall is around 200 mm in, but has been as high as 417 mm .4 in. Port Said, Kossir, Baltim, Damietta and Alexandria have the least temperature variation in Egypt. The highest recorded temperature was 45 degrees Celsius 113 degrees Fahrenheit on 30 May 1961, and the coldest recorded temperature was 0 degrees Celsius 32 degrees Fahrenheit on 31 January 1994. Topic. Historical sites and landmarks Due to the constant presence of war in Alexandria in ancient times, very little of the ancient city has survived into the present day. Much of the royal and civic quarters sank beneath the harbour due to earthquake subsidence in AD 365, and the rest has been built over in modern times. Pompey's Pillar a Roman triumphal column, is one of the best-known ancient monuments still standing in Alexandria today. It is located on Alexandria's ancient Acropolis, a modest hill located adjacent to the city's Arab cemetery, and was originally part of a temple colonnade. 
including its pedestal. It is 30 meters (99 feet) high. The shaft is of polished red granite, 2.7 meters (8.9 feet) in diameter at the base, tapering to 2.4 meters (7.9 feet) at the top. The shaft is 88 feet (27 meters) high and made out of a single piece of granite. Its volume is 132 cubic meters (4,662 cubic feet) and weighed approximately 396 tons. Pompey's pillar may have been erected using the same methods that were used to erect the ancient obelisks. The Romans had cranes but they were not strong enough to lift something this heavy. Roger Hopkins and Mark Lerner conducted several obelisk erecting experiments including a successful attempt to erect a 25-ton obelisk in 1999. This followed two experiments to erect smaller obelisks and two failed attempts to erect a 25-ton obelisk. The structure was plundered and demolished in the 4th century when a bishop decreed that paganism must be eradicated. Pompey's pillar is a misnomer, as it has nothing to do with Pompey, having been erected in 293 for Diocletian, possibly in memory of the rebellion of Domitius Domitianus. Beneath the Acropolis itself are the subterranean remains of the Serapium, where the mysteries of the god Serapis were enacted, and whose carved wall niches are believed to have provided overflow storage space for the ancient library. In more recent years, many ancient artifacts have been discovered from the surrounding sea, mostly pieces of old pottery. Alexandria's catacombs, known as Koml Shokafa, are a short distance southwest of the pillar, consist of a multi-level labyrinth, reached via a large spiral staircase, and featuring dozens of chambers adorned with sculpted pillars, statues, and other syncretic Romano-Egyptian religious symbols, burial niches, and sarcophagi, as well as a large Roman-style banquet room, where memorial meals were conducted by relatives of the deceased. The catacombs were long forgotten by the citizens until they were discovered by accident in 1900. The most extensive ancient excavation currently being conducted in Alexandria is known as Koml Deca. It has revealed the ancient city's well preserved theatre, and the remains of its Roman era baths. Persistent efforts have been made to explore the antiquities of Alexandria. Encouragement and help have been given by the local archaeological society, and by many individuals, notably Greeks proud of a city which is one of the glories of their national history. Excavations were performed in the city by Greeks seeking the tomb of Alexander the Great without success. The past and present directors of the museum have been enabled from time to time to carry out systematic excavations whenever opportunity is offered. D.G. Hogarth made tentative researches on behalf of the Egypt Exploration Fund and the Society for the Promotion of Hellenic Studies in 1895, and a German expedition worked for two years 1898-1899 but two difficulties face the would-be excavator in Alexandria, lack of space for excavation and the underwater location of some areas of interest. Since the great and growing modern city stands immediately over the ancient one, it is almost impossible to find any considerable space in which to dig, except at enormous cost. Cleopatra VII's royal quarters were inundated by earthquakes and tsunami, leading to gradual subsidence in the 4th century AD. This underwater section, containing many of the most interesting sections of the Hellenistic city, including the Palace Quarter, was explored in 1992 and is still being extensively investigated by the French underwater archaeologist Frank Godio and his team. It raised a noted head of Caesarean. These are being opened up to tourists, to some controversy. The spaces that are most open are the low grounds to northeast and southwest, where it is practically impossible to get below the Roman strata. The most important results were those achieved by Dr. G. Body, late director of the museum, in the neighborhood of Pompey's Pillar, where there is a good deal of open ground. Here, substructures of a large building or group of buildings have been exposed, which are perhaps part of the Serapium. Nearby, immense catacombs and columbaria have been opened which may have been appendages of the temple. These contain one very remarkable vault with curious painted reliefs, now artificially lit and open to visitors. The objects found in these researches are in the museum, the most notable being a great basalt bull, probably once an object of cult in the Serapium. Other catacombs and tombs have been opened in Koml Shokafa Roman, and Ras el Tin painted. The German excavation team found remains of a Ptolemaic colonnade and streets in the northeast of the city, but little else. Hogarth explored part of an immense brick structure under the mound of Koml Deca, which may have been part of the Panium, the Morsalia, or a Roman fortress. The making of the new foreshore led to the dredging up of remains of the patriarchal church, and the foundations of modern buildings are seldom laid without some objects of antiquity being discovered. The wealth underground is doubtlessly immense, but despite all efforts, there is not much for antiquarians to see in Alexandria outside the museum and the neighborhood of Pompey's Pillar. Topic: 
Temple of Tapasiris Magna The temple was built in the Ptolemy era and dedicated to Osiris, which finished the construction of Alexandria. It is located in Abusir, the western suburb of Alexandria in Borg el Arab city. Only the outer wall and the pylons remain from the temple. There is evidence to prove that sacred animals were worshipped there. Archaeologists found an animal necropolis near the temple. Remains of a Christian church show that the temple was used as a church in later centuries. Also found in the same area are remains of public baths built by the Emperor Justinian, a seawall, keys and a bridge. Near the beach side of the area, there are the remains of a tower built by Ptolemy II Philadelphus. The tower was an exact scale replica of the destroyed Alexandrine Pharos lighthouse. Religion Islam The most famous mosque in Alexandria is Abu al-Abbas al-Mursi Mosque in Bihari. Other notable mosques in the city include Ali ibn Abi Talib Mosque in Samuha, Bilal Mosque, al gama al-Bihari in Mandara, Hadam Mosque in Samuha, Hoda al-Islam Mosque in Sidi Bish, al Moasar Mosque in Hadara, Shark al-Medina Mosque in Miami, al shahadar Mosque in Mustafa Kamal, al Qared Ibrahim Mosque, Yahya Mosque in Zizinya, Sidi Gaba Mosque in Sidi Gaba, and Sultan Mosque. Alexandria is the base of the Salafi movements in Egypt. Al Noor Party, which is based in the city and overwhelmingly won most of the Salafi votes in the 2011 12 parliamentary election, supports the President Abdul Fattah el Sisi. Topic Christianity After Rome and Constantinople, Alexandria was considered the third most important seat of Christianity in the world. The Pope of Alexandria was second only to the Bishop of Rome, the capital of the Roman Empire, until 430. The Church of Alexandria had jurisdiction over most of the continent of Africa. After the Council of Chalcedon in AD 451, the Church of Alexandria was split between the Myophysites and the Melkites. The Myophysites went on to constitute what is known today as the Coptic Orthodox Church of Alexandria. The Melkites went on to constitute what is known today as the Greek Orthodox Church of Alexandria. In the 19th century, Catholic and Protestant missionaries converted some of the adherents of the Orthodox churches to their respective faiths. Today, the patriarchal seat of the Pope of the Coptic Orthodox Church is St. Mark Cathedral in Ramla. The most important Coptic Orthodox churches in Alexandria include Pope Cyril I Church in Cleopatra, St. George Church in Sporting, St. Mark and Pope Peter I Church in City Bish, St. Mary Church in Asafra, St. Mary Church in Jarnaclus, St. Mina Church in Fleming, St. Mina Church in Mandara and St. Takla Hamanot's Church in Ibrahimaya. The most important Eastern Orthodox churches in Alexandria are Agioi Anagiwa Church, Church of the Annunciation, St. Anthony Church, Archangels Gabriel and Michael Church, Taxiarchon Church, St. Catherine Church, Cathedral of the Dormition in Manshaya, Church of the Dormition, Prophet Elijah Church, St. George Church, Church of the Immaculate Conception in Ibrahimaya, St. Joseph Church in Fleming, St. Joseph of Arimathea Church, St. Mark and St. Nectarios Chapel in Ramla, St. Nicholas Church, St. Paraskevi Church, St. Suva Cathedral in Ramla, St. Theodore Chapel and the Russian Church of St. Alexander Nevsky in Alexandria, which serves the Russian-speaking community in the city. The Apostolic Vicariate of Alexandria in Egypt Heliopolis Port said has jurisdiction over all Latin Church Catholics in Egypt. Member churches include St. Catherine Church in Manshaya and Church of the Jesuits in Cleopatra. The city is also the nominal see of the Melkite Greek Catholic titular Patriarchate of Alexandria generally vested in its leading Patriarch of Antioch and the actual cathedral see of its Patriarchal Territory of Egypt, Sudan and South Sudan, which uses the Byzantine Rite, and the nominal see of the Armenian Catholic Epoche of Alexandria for all Egypt and Sudan, whose actual cathedral is in Cairo, a suffragan of the Armenian Catholic Patriarch of Cilicia, using the Armenian Rite. The St. Mark Church in Shatby, founded as part of College St. Mark, is multi-denominational and holds liturgies according to Latin Catholic, Coptic Catholic and Coptic Orthodox rites. In antiquity, Alexandria was a major center of the cosmopolitan religious movement called Gnosticism today mainly remembered as a Christian heresy. <inaudible> <inaudible> Judaism Alexandria's once flourishing Jewish community declined rapidly following the 1948 Arab-Israeli War, after which negative reactions towards Zionism among Egyptians led to Jewish residents in the city, and elsewhere in Egypt, being perceived as Zionist collaborators. 
Most Jewish residents of Egypt fled to the newly established Israel, France, Brazil and other countries in the 1950s and 1960s. The community once numbered 50,000 but is now estimated at below 50. The most important synagogue in Alexandria is the Eliyahu Hanavi Synagogue. Education <inaudible> 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 Topic colleges and universities Alexandria has a number of higher education institutions. Alexandria University is a public university that follows the Egyptian system of higher education. Many of its faculties are internationally renowned, most notably its Faculty of Medicine and Faculty of Engineering. In addition, Egypt Japan University of Science and Technology in Newborg El Arab City, it is a research university set up in collaboration between the Japanese and Egyptian governments in 2010. The Arab Academy for Science, Technology and Maritime Transport is a semi private educational institution that offers courses for high school, undergraduate level, and postgraduate students. It is considered the most reputable university in Egypt after the AUC American University in Cairo because of its worldwide recognition from Board of Engineers at UK and ABET in US. Université Senghor is a private French university that focuses on the teaching of humanities, politics and international relations, which mainly targets students from the African continent. Other institutions of higher education in Alexandria include Alexandria Institute of Technology and Feroz University in Alexandria. Topic. Schools Alexandria has a long history of foreign educational institutions. The first foreign schools date to the early 19th century, when French missionaries began establishing French charitable schools to educate the Egyptians. Today, the most important French schools in Alexandria run by Catholic missionaries include Collège de la Mire de Dieu, Collège Notre Dame de Sion, Collège Saint Marc, Écoles des Sœurs Franciscaines, four different schools, Ecole Gerard, Ecole Saint Gabriel, Ecole Saint Vincent de Paul, Ecole Saint Joseph, Ecole Saint Catherine, and Institution Saint Jean Antidé. As a reaction to the establishment of French religious institutions, a secular LAIC mission established Lycée El Hiraya, which initially followed a French system of education, but is currently a public school run by the Egyptian government. The only school in Alexandria that completely follows the French educational system is Lycée Français d'Alexandrie Ecole Champollion. It is usually frequented by the children of French expatriates and diplomats in Alexandria. The Italian school is the Istituto Don Bosco. English schools in Alexandria are becoming the most popular. English language schools in the city include, Riata American School, Riata Language School, Alexandria Language School, Future Language School, Future International Schools Future IGCSE, Future American School and Future German School, Alexandria American School, British School of Alexandria, Egyptian American School, Pioneers Language School, Princesses Girls School, City Gabba Language School, Tamor English School, Sacred Heart Girls School, Schutz American School, Victoria College, El Manar Language School for Girls previously called Scottish School for for girls, Kaumea Language School, El Nasa Boys School previously called British Boys School, and El Nasa Girls College. There are only two German schools in Alexandria which are Deutsche Schule der Borromeinen DSB of St. Charles Borom and Future Deutsche Schule. The Montessori educational system was first introduced in Alexandria in 2009 at Alexandria Montessori. The most notable public schools in Alexandria include El Abaja High School and Gamal Abdel Nasser High School. Topic Transport Topic Airports Alexandria is served by El Noura Airport, which is currently closed, and Borg El Arab Airport, which is located about twenty five kilometres, sixteen miles away from the city centre. From late 2011, Alexandria International Airport was to be closed to commercial operations for two years as it underwent expansion, with all airlines operating out of Borg El Arab Airport from then onwards, where a brand new terminal was completed in February 2010. In 2017 the government officially announced that Alexandria International Airport will shut down for good due to operational reasons, after having initially announced that it was to open during mid-2017. Topic. Highways International Coastal Road Mercer Matru, Alexandria, Port Said 
Cairo Alexandria Desert Road Alexandria Cairo 220 kilometers 137 miles 6 to 8 lanes Cairo Alexandria Agriculture Road Alexandria Cairo Mewa El Tami Alexandria Borg El Arab Topic Rail Alexandria's intracity commuter rail system extends from MISR station, Alexandria's primary intercity railway station, to Abu Qir, parallel to the tram line. The commuter line's locomotives operate on diesel, as opposed to the overhead electric tram. Alexandria plays host to two intercity railway stations, the aforementioned MISR station in the older Manshir district in the western part of the city and City Gaba railway station in the district of City Gaba in the center of the eastern expansion in which most Alexandrians reside, both of which also serve the commuter rail line. Intercity passenger service is operated by Egyptian National Railways. Topic: <laughs> Trams. An extensive tramway network was built in 1860 and is the oldest in Africa. The network begins at the LRAML district in the west and ends in the Victoria district in the east. Most of the vehicles are blue in color. Some smaller yellow-colored vehicles have further routes beyond the two main endpoints. The tram routes have one of four numbers, 1, 2, 5, and 6. All four start at LRAML, but only two, one and two reach Victoria. There are two converging and diverging points. The first starts at Bulkley Isis and ends at San Stefano. The other begins at Sporting and ends at Mustafa Kamel. Route 5 starts at San Stefano and takes the inner route to Bulkley. Route 6 starts at Sidi Gaba El Sheikh in the outer route between Sporting and Mustafa Kamel. Route 1 takes the inner route between San Stefano and Bulkley and the outer route between Sporting and Mustafa Kamel. Route 2 takes the route opposite to Route 1 in both these areas. The tram fares are 50 piastres .50 pounds, and 100 piastres .00 pounds for the middle car. Some trams that date back the 30s charge a pound. The tram is considered the cheapest method of public transport. A cafe operates in the second floor of the first car of Tram 1 a women-only car which costs 5 LE per person, also offering a Wi-Fi service. A luxury light blue tram car operates from San Stefano to Ras El Tin, with free Wi-Fi and movies and songs played inside for 5 LE per ticket. The tram stations Route 2 serves the following stations. Taxis and minibuses Taxis in Alexandria sport a yellow and black livery and are widely available. While Egyptian law requires all cabs to carry meters, these generally do not work and fares must be negotiated with the driver on either departure or arrival. The minibus share taxi system, or mashru, operates along well-known traffic arteries. The routes can be identified by both their endpoints and the route between them. Corniche routes El Mandara, Bihari El Mandara, El Manshaya Asafra, Bihari Asafra, El Manshaya El Sara, El Manshaya, Abu Qir routes, El Mandara, El Mahata, lit. The station, i.e., MISR railway station, Abu Qir, El Mahata, Victoria, El Mahata, El Mandara, Victoria, Interior routes, Cabo, Bihari, El Manshaya, El Awaid, El Manshaya, El Moraf, El Gedid, the new bus station. Hadara El Mahataith route is generally written in Arabic on the side of the vehicle, although some drivers change their route without changing the paint. Some drivers also drive only a segment of a route rather than the whole path. Such drivers generally stop at a point known as a major hub of the transportation system, for example, Victoria, to allow riders to transfer to another car or to another mode of transport. Fare is generally LE 3.00 to travel the whole route. Shorter trips may have a lower fare, depending on the driver and the length of the trip. Topic. Port Alexandria has four ports, namely the Western Port, which is the main port of the country that handles about 60% of the country's exports and imports, Dekela Port west of the Western Port, the Eastern Port which is a yachting harbour, and Abu Qir Port at the northern east of the Governorate. It is a commercial port for general cargo and phosphates. Topic. 
Culture Topic: Libraries. The Royal Library of Alexandria in Alexandria, Egypt, was once the largest library in the world. It is generally thought to have been founded at the beginning of the 3rd century BC during the reign of Ptolemy II of Egypt. It was likely created after his father had built what would become the first part of the library complex, the Temple of the Muses, the Museion (Greek mausion, from which the modern English word museum is derived. It has been reasonably established that the library, or parts of the collection, were destroyed by fire on a number of occasions library fires were common and replacement of handwritten manuscripts was very difficult, expensive, and time-consuming. To this day the details of the destruction or destructions remain a lively source of controversy. The Bibliotheca Alexandrina was inaugurated in 2002, near the site of the old library. Museums. <laughs> <laughs> The Alexandria National Museum was inaugurated 31 December 2003. It is located in a restored Italian-style palace in Tariq el Hiraya Street formerly Rue Fuad, near the center of the city. It contains about 1,800 artifacts that narrate the story of Alexandria and Egypt. Most of these pieces came from other Egyptian museums. The museum is housed in the old al Saad Basili Pasha Palace, who was one of the wealthiest wood merchants in Alexandria. Construction on the site was first undertaken in 1926. Kavafi Museum The Greco-Roman Museum The Museum of Fine Arts The Royal Jewelry Museum Sports The main sport that interests Alexandrians is football, as is the case in the rest of Egypt and Africa. Alexandria Stadium is a multi-purpose stadium in Alexandria, Egypt. It is currently used mostly for football matches, and was used for the 2006 African Cup of Nations. The stadium is the oldest stadium in Egypt, being built in 1929. The stadium holds 20,000 people. Alexandria was one of three cities that participated in hosting the African Cup of Nations in January 2006, which Egypt won. Sea sports such as surfing, jet skiing and water polo are practiced on a lower scale. The skateboarding culture in Egypt started in this city. The city is also home to the Alexandria Sporting Club, which is especially known for its basketball team, which traditionally provides the country's national team with key players. The city hosted the Afrobasket, the continent's most prestigious basketball tournament, on four occasions 1970, 1975, 1983, 2003. Alexandria has four stadiums. Other less popular sports like tennis and squash are usually played in private social and sports clubs, like Theatres Alexandria Opera House, where classical music, Arabic music, ballet, and opera are performed. Tourism Alexandria is a main summer resort and tourist attraction, due to its public and private beaches and ancient history and museums, the art that appears in the building especially in the oldest building and the ancient decorations of the hotels, especially the Bibliotheca Alexandrina, based on reviving the ancient library of Alexandria. One of the main tourism attractions that start every year from the city is Cross Egypt Challenge. Started in 2011, Cross Egypt Challenge is an international cross-country motorcycle and scooter rally conducted throughout the most difficult tracks and roads of Egypt. Alexandria is known as the yearly starting point of Cross Egypt Challenge and a huge celebration is conducted the night before the rally starts after all the international participants arrive to the city. The KOM El Shokafa catacombs are located in Alexandria, Egypt. The catacombs are considered one of the seven wonders of the Middle Ages and date back to the 2nd century. The remnants of Pompey's pillar still remain today. This single pillar represents the elaborate temple which once stood in Alexandria. It remains at the site of the Serapium, Alexandria's Acropolis. The Serapium, which stood for ancient tradition, conflicted with the rise of Christianity. It is a large tourist destination. Today, the Roman amphitheater of Alexandria is another popular destination. Here, there remains a stage with around 700 to 800 seats. They also have numerous galleries of statues and details left over from this time. 
Alexandria's tourism office announced plans to reserve some beaches for tourists in July 2018. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> International relations. Topic: <laughs> 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 Twin towns, sister cities. Alexandria is twinned with equals equals see also